want to add the versatility and simplicity of a floating shelf to your display, but don't want to break the bank, it's going to cost how much? Guess I can hold off that surgery until next year. Looking for something easier to make that doesn't require a lot of steps and a bunch of mumbo jumbo? Millimeters again? In this video, I show you how to make simple yet elegant floating shelves for your garage shelf display. This time with 100% more wood. Hey, come on guys. In part four of the DIY display case build, I showed you how to make elegant floating shelves out of aluminum and plexiglass. As amazing as those look, and they do look spectacular, I wanted to see how making a shelf out of good old wood would feel. <laughs> wood wood. I must say I am super impressed. So much so that I prefer the wood shelves over the aluminum one. Who would have thought? <laughs> wood. Hey! Again? Here are some of the benefits of making a wood shelf over the aluminum shelf. One, it's way cheaper. Yes, you heard that right. Making your shelf out of wood is about three quarters of the cost of the plexiglass and aluminum. Two, it is much easier to make. All you need to do is buy your wood, cut it to the length you need it, paint it, and add the brackets to it. That's it! No worries of cutting the acrylic to the right size or drilling holes into your aluminum or plexiglass. Whew! Three, you can customize the hell out of it. You can even make it a diorama piece. The wood shelf is super versatile. More about this at the end of the video. There is only one real drawback when compared to the aluminum shelf. It can't hold as much weight, that's it. I mean, it can hold a hell of a lot of weight, just not as much as the aluminum shelf. Disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer. This video will only show how to make the wood shelf and how to add it to your display case. It will not include how to make the hanging brackets or the reasoning behind some of the little details. All that information is available in the DIY display case part four video, link in the description. Wood shelf, what you will need. Six inch or 12 inch by six foot by one inch premium knotless pine, paint, T-brackets with screws, spring-loaded T-nuts, M5 by 6 millimeter flathead bolts, tools, paint roller and tray, drill, 150 grit sandpaper, optional tools, clamps, circular saw, tape measure, straight edge, level. The first thing we need to do is cut down our board from 6 feet to 47 and 3 eighths inches or approximately 1203 millimeters. You can either do this yourself like a badass or have Lowe's cut it for you. If you get your wood cut at Lowe's, you're halfway done. For this build, I will be making a six inch shelf, but you can also make a 12 inch shelf. The type of wood I chose was inexpensive, but not the cheapest type of wood you could buy. I decided to go with a premium knotless pine. Going with this type of wood will keep the price down, but will also give you a nice smooth surface. This way you won't have any knots showing after you paint it. If you go with the regular old pine with the knots, it will look like and you'll have to do a ton more work to get it smooth. For those cutting the wood themselves, measure your wood to 47th and 3 8 inches or 1203 millimeters and mark it. As noted in part four of the DIY display case build, for a 48 inch wide display, your shelf should be 1203 millimeters or 47 and 3 8 inches wide to accommodate the hanging brackets. Next, clamp your wood to the table. I am using a guide that I made for my saw. This isn't necessary, but if you want to get a nice straight edge, I recommend using Using some sort of straight edge as a guide. It can be anything. A ruler. A really long ruler. They're like yardstick rulers. Now take your trusty circular saw and cut your wood. Next, using 150 grit sandpaper, sand the ends of the wood to smooth out any of the rough edges. You should do this even if you had Lowe's cut the wood for you. While you're at it, you might as well sand the entire board. This will smooth out any imperfections and it will allow the paint to stick on the wood better. After you're done sanding, wipe off the board with a damp cloth to take off any excess dust. Before we move on to painting, I decided to mark and pre-drill my holes on the ends where the T-brackets will be located. First, you're going to decide which end of the board will be at the back of the display case, mainly because you don't want your T-brackets 
to be at opposite ends when you, you know, when you're drilling them in. It'll be weird. You don't want them on two different ends. Line up the back of the shelf with the back edges of the T-bracket and line up the holes of the T-bracket with the center of the board's thickness. Once you feel comfortable with the location of the T-bracket, mark the center of each hole. Next, take the screws that come with the T-brackets and screw them into the board at your marks. Then unscrew them and put them to the side. Do this for both ends of the board. Now that we have our T-bracket holes pre-drilled, we'll move on to painting. For painting my board, I initially tried spray painting, which was a bit of a disaster. I was doing it outside and the wind was blowing and it just, it just sucked. And after a few coats of spray paint, I, I was not happy with the results at all. I was so pissed off, I wanted to chop the board in half. hi -ya! I then decided to go with the roll-on method, which is what I should have done in the first place and not wasted my freaking time. For the paint color, I went with ultra white since the interior of my case is white. The beauty of making your shelf out of wood is you could essentially make it any color you want. You could even put designs on the shelf or texture it. Do what feels best to you. Now take your paint roller and load it up with paint and start painting. Make sure you get every inch of your board, the top and the sides. I ended up putting on three coats, but you can put on as many or as little as you like to fully cover your wood shelf. You really only have to paint the parts of the board that are visible. If you don't feel comfortable with a partially painted board, then after your initial three coats and when dry, flip the board over and paint the remaining bare surface. The roll-on method worked great. And this board looks spectacular if I do say so myself. Once we've let the paint dry, we will add the T-brackets back onto the shelf and add this bad boy to our display case. Take your T-brackets, line them up with the holes on the edge of the board, and start screwing in your screws. Next, just like in the DIY display case part four video, we will attach our T-nuts to the T-brackets. T-nuts get me all the time. Do not tighten in the T-nuts all the way. Just the tip. I used that joke already? <sighs> In the other video, you're gonna need some room to be able to slide the T-nuts into the hanging bracket. Doing one side at a time, we will slide the T-nuts into the channel of the hanging bracket and then tighten that side. Next, we will slide in the other side and tighten that side. After this, we will slide our shelf up or down to the position that we want and tighten both sides. After, take a level and place it on the shelf. Move one side up or down to level out your shelf. Not bad at all. Damn, this thing looks awesome. Final thoughts. This turned out better than I expected. I'm really digging the look of the white shelf with the white background. It kind of blends in and almost disappears. Not to mention it is way cheaper than the aluminum shelf. I'm also certain that this will look stellar in black. Or what the hell, make it look like the floor of the Death Star. Or a desert with footprints. Or possibly a jungle. Or a river. Or a jungle river. The possibilities are endless. If you got any value out of this video, please smash the like button, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button to support the channel. All proceeds from the super thanks will be used to help me bring you more amazing tutorials. If you haven't built your garage shelf yet, what the f are you waiting for? Come join the revolution and check out this playlist right here.